Hi everyone, in today's video I am doing a Christmas decoration unpacking so I figured I would do it along with you since I previously did a Halloween decoration unpacking and I just had fun doing it on camera so I figured why not. Let's tackle this Mount Everest. This first is this new bed sheet set that I got from Ross. I don't know how much it is. Oh, I spent 20 bucks on it, which isn't bad. A lot of the times these are $30 at Target. I mean, compare retail, 35. I also have this awesome set of glasses from a Christmas story. You would think I'd actually take this out and use them and drink out of them, but I don't. I don't know why, I just like to display them. I've also got a set of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation glasses. I believe this and the Christmas Story ones I got from Walmart. All right, let's get into this tub. Uh, actually, these are gonna fall down on me. Can you help me unpack? I have to be careful because this is so white that she might end up getting it dirty with drool. But here is my Squishmallow. Thank you, board dog. All right, so here's another Squishmallow. This is a cute little reindeer. Oh my goodness, don't bite it. We have some stockings. I have a Wally Christmas one. I'm just gonna try and eat every single stocking. Bulldog, you are gonna get cold for Christmas. I also have a Pixar Up Adventure Is Out There themed stocking. This one and the Wally, I got them both from Hot Topic. And actually, I think I also got this Harry Potter stocking from Hot Topic as well. So they're all like that shiny, smooth material. And then lastly, I have this awesome Bucky stocking. Yes, it's a gas station stocking. We just love Bucky's that much. I should also show you before I keep overloading the pool table with stuff. Some of the decorations that are already on here, like some table mats. I got some candy canes. We all know this gingerbread house some other decorations, and I've just kind of been stockpiling them. We got tools, this is clearly storage, but I've just kind of been stockpiling them, waiting to be able to use them all and to decorate with them. So that's everything that's on here. By the way, how stinking cute are these? I got these on Macari. Oh my goodness, I don't know what it is. I love these. The pair of them together are so adorable. Just wanted to share that with you, right, but so continuing right. on with this bin, hopefully the audio is a lot better now that I'm not so far away from the camera and that I have a bulldog breathing through it. <laughs> um, this is cute. I got this from Amazon. I have a couple of these. They sit on top of wine bottles and it's just a little wine bottle, buddy. Oh yeah, and see, this is another one. You put the wine bottle in here and that's a decoration. Some bath towels. I forgot I had these. I almost went out and got bath towels too, so I'm glad I came across these. Got more stockings, but these are for the puppies. There's only two of us that live in this house besides our puppies, but I just love the way stockings look hung up. So I pretend we're a family of like 12. Got this cute tablecloth. This is from Walmart a couple years back. Got one of those lanterns that when you turn on, all the glitter comes up and it lights up. I did try to turn that lantern on, but it needs new batteries. So once it has new batteries, I'll insert a video of it on. My friend sent me this funny TikTok where it's like, Maturity is realizing as an adult that you don't need to buy new Christmas stuff every year. And then it's like, eh, and it flips over to the lady still buying stuff because obviously immature. <laughs> I always think about that because every year I'm like, I don't need any more. And then I go to the store and I'm like, I need that. So yeah, all this stuff is from like the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree really has great decorations in my opinion. Like I love that little candy cane bow. So we obviously have some ornaments, some wall decor. Look, she's like, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> I know, I know, I, I mentioned your name, I said Sophie. <laughs> You're gonna be the whole video. It's just gonna be me petting a bulldog. And then look, we got a little shepherd over here. A little shepherd, you see, hi, hi, say hi. This I got from Target a couple years back and I love it. It's a mini little sled. How neat is that? And it's really good material. Like if I was shrunken down into this size, I could definitely use that as an actual sled. And this is probably the last interesting thing in this Tupperware and that is a countdown to Christmas, zero, zero. I wish it was Christmas today. Of course you have to have some blankets. You got the little snow puppies. Mostly all my blankets and stuff are from Ross because you can't beat the quality and for the price. 
Look how cute those penguins are. Oh my goodness. Underneath it, you wanna show them? I have this little tree that goes in our bedroom. And this is the one that I decorate as gingerbread theme. This is for the kitchen. It says, Merry Christmas. Could you guys guess where I got it from? Ross. <laughs> then I got my little elf set up. Nightmare Before Christmas set up. In this bag, we got more Squishmallows. So in that bag was this penguin. We also had Bumble and Hermie. Obviously he's not a Squishmallow, but that's okay. Like my little helpers. So we got a bunch more signs here. Cookies for Santa. Let it snow. Sleigh ride. This is obviously a wine bottle that I painted to look like Christmas. I did have ones that were like reindeer and mini reindeer. However, sometimes they don't survive the packing. So I don't know if I still have those. And I had Santa too. Oh, there he is. So this was another one that I decorated as Santa with his little hat and a little fluff on the top. Ho, ho, ho. Over here, you have to have Christmas books. There's no kids in this house, but who needs them? I like these books. Something is wrapped up in here. Oh, look at that. 2021. The irony is that I got this in 2022 on clearance because it says 2021. All right, so it just looks like there's more signage and everything that's in here. This is actually a piece of wood from the Dollar Tree, and I decorated it to matchy-matchy each other. But yeah, I just painted the windows green and the wreath and all that kind of stuff. I'm not gonna go through this just because this is everything that goes on that miniature tree that goes in the bedroom. So this is all my gingerbread theme. So I'm gonna leave this in here for now, especially because we have a curious bulldog. Watch out, baby. One bag had this style wreath in it. And then we also have this as I'm pointing to it with the wreath holder. But I just wanted to show you guys how pretty they are. We got some floor mats. This one goes outside. The only thing that kills me about these type of mats, the decorative ones, when you put them outside, when you live in South Florida and it rains, it loves to soak up water. So I'm constantly cleaning footprints. I see you, I'm literally staring at you. I gotta take that away, sorry. Not today, Bulldog. Look how cute this Santa is. He's got fluff on his gingerbread house. This was from Walmart and he was actually a decent price. I think he was only like 20 bucks. See, this is for you, but there's no treats in it. I know, I'm so sorry. Treats from Santa Paws, not this yet. This is the second one of those gingerbread mugs. Got some more gingerbread houses. These are two that I painted last year. <laughs> I'm so sorry about my dog. <laughs> but she's a part of me, so you have to accept her. Got this awesome mug set. I think I got this from Ross once upon a time from a Christmas story. And got this little village. But all right guys, let me get to decorating and then I'll show you how everything came out. All right, let me show you all the Christmas vibes that are in my house right now. Got the mini trees, a random banner, but we love it. In this area, we got our artificial tree. It's kind of like a classic red gold vibe. That's what I'm going for here. Have the control for the tree. Love that thing. Check out this cute, adorable, festive gingerbread village. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite part. Tenfold, top notch, top notch. That's my favorite thing. Every time I look at that, I am just so happy. Got Elf on. We got a whole little setup over here. Some of those Funko displays. You can see Bumble. Then we'll make our way this way. And here is another setup. <laughs> I'm such like a little kid, but I mean, if I was a kid, this is how I would envision it. This is great. Oh my goodness, this should be on. Hold on. Now, now we're living life. It would be projected on the walls, but it's way too bright. Then over here, we have another little Christmas village. Remember those gingerbread guys? My old school radio jukebox thingy, a squishmallow. And then of course the creme de la creme, the gingerbread tree. Remember when I made this tree skirt last year? I had it this way last year, and now I decided to put it this way. So here's this tree all lit up with its little gingerbread top hat on front. But all right guys, let me know what you think of my decorations. As always, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye friends.